さん、こんにちは。俺がマークです。今日は話を読む。<笑>僕は人に言えない秘密があります。お人に話し,て話,し話して、はい、いけません。多分このアピトアピトにはすめなくなるなろうでしょう。おやさんにビルテは、はい、ビルテはい、はい、けません。<咳>そ,の秘密その秘密は、僕がカテロネイコです。と僕は言いましたいいですよ。大事にしなさい。と、大家さんは言って、家に帰りました。Don't know how much of that I'm keeping in, but it took me about 12 minutes to read a two page beginner short story. Wow, that is a bright light. So I don't want to keep it all. I don't know. I don't want to plagiarize a whole book. But. <clears throat> That's where my Japanese comprehension is currently at. I have some notes. Let's talk about those. Get my script open. So, yeah,、uh, that was me reading some Japanese. And I liked having the mic in my hand, and it doesn't peak. So, we'll see how this turns out. I've specifically not edited that segment you just unfortunately witnessed. But, yeah, that was yesterday. And now some notes. And then I've got, at the end, I just wanted to talk about, I don't know, a lot of stuff I've been thinking about lately. Today on the schedule, we have, and there'll be timestamps to all these on the bar reflections, immersion edition, some stuff about the grammar guide, pondering times to produce and what that means, and then the conclusion and some thoughts going forward. So let's get, get, out, get out of here. Quick reflections. I realized that Uniqlo is a Japanese brand, and I didn't know this, but I realized this because I saw the Uniqlo logo, and then next to it was Unikuro. In Japanese characters, and I was like, wait, I can read that. I had never once realized or even considered that it wasn't just a bunch of random symbols. They are in a weird font, but it just goes to show how good the brain is at image recognition. I read one of the short stories from the book I just read from with my girlfriend, and I was like, hey, you know what? That didn't go too horribly. I can read all this. Clearly, I don't know all the words. And maybe kanji's not that bad now that I actually know some and feel like I'm on an okay track with them. And so I read another one. In, in front of the live video, and I'm hoping in a couple of months I can do it again and understand more and have it sound better and less hiccupy. I've been pretty disappointed with myself in terms of Wani Kani and getting around 60%, if not lower than that. I'm really trying to get active 80% when I go through the reviews and really making stronger mnemonics. Boom Pro, we'll talk about that when I get to the grammar guide. And lastly, there are some cool connections happening with reading kanji and pronouncing it and then realizing I know what it is. Either because I know the kanji or because I know the pronunciation. For example, when we'll, I'll show a clip in just a moment, I was playing Pokemon Shield in Japanese, and one of the characters said, Yatta. I read that, and I was like, oh, I don't know what that means. But then I pronounced it in my head, Yatta, and I was like, oh, hey, I've heard that all the time in TV. And then that can also kind of work in reverse. So yeah, that's it. Just key things I noticed. Immersion edition. So the big one out of the way,、uh, when I first started playing video games, I probably wasn't that good at language. So here's some of me playing Pokemon Shield in Japanese. Or trying to. Holy crap, that's investigation. Kenku Shun. Investigation? Lab? Pokemon Lab. Ne. Wait. Kimi wa Pokemon Kenku Shu. Kenku Jo. Ne. So going to. Frick, I don't know those ones. <laughs> Kakera. I feel like I should know Kakera, but it's kind of cool. So, good health, so Genkin. Tokunesh, Tokesh, Dokugeshi. Yes, I can read.、Uh, so, yeah, I also just got Legends of Arceus. And I'm going to say Arceus now because apparently in Japanese it's Aruseus, which is S and not K. It's not Arceus, apparently in Japanese. I don't know. Anyway, that's not really important. I heard it's super fun. It's hard to navigate. One big thing is, as someone who, when using English, can just speed through dialogue, I can read a dialogue box in like a half a second and just spam A and get 
the important parts and whatnot, it is so hard having to slow down and my head starts to hurt. When you do slow down, you learn. And uh, in the Pokemon Shield thing, in the clip I just showed, there was the word laboratory, maybe it was Research Institute, but I recognized the kanji, even though I was like, oh, I don't know if what pronunciations that uses. I'm doing pretty well with the vocab stuff. Uh, I just got a slack, I should check that. Okay, not important. So yeah, I think that'll be super helpful, especially since it's a game I want to play. Did this just get darker? Another thing is that I did start watching a new anime called Orbital Children. I watched the first episode with subtitles just so I wasn't totally clueless. And then I had this like mini epiphany where I was like, oh, well the short way of getting an understanding is just looking at the subtitles, but the long way is by learning the language. And I was like, well, I'm here for the long way, so. And then I have this app on my phone that gives me two motivational quotes a day in Japanese. And I just kind of spend a minute or so trying to understand it. Is this framing better? I. <sighs> I don't know. This is kind of off the cuff. And lastly, uh, finding Japanese podcasts is so difficult. Every time, at least I look up Japanese podcasts, it's always like top 10 podcasts for Japanese learners. And I'm like, I am learning Japanese, but that's not the podcast I want. If you have any recs, let me know. I ended up looking up the top podcasts of 2021 in Japan on Spotify. And so I just got a few from there. The grammar guide finally started the essential grammar section. One of my goals for the next learning log. Ow is to finish that chapter. It's like 110 or so pages, I believe, to return to what I said about Boom Pro. <sighs> I boom, just they were desynced and Boom Pro started becoming a memorization game and I just lost my way again. Like that's my next step. As I'll discuss in a moment, I'm painfully aware of how far behind I am. Hopefully that'll be a good reminder. Pondering times to produce, Another next step I should and will take is to think about when can I start producing the language because I've got a good thing going for learning vocab. I've got ways to practice reading that I seem that seem okay now. On Karano, I'm thinking maybe I can try and play a game in Japanese and speak only in Japanese. And then also if I can think in Japanese. So I have an internal monologue, arguably many internal monologues. And so what if I start to use those internal monologues and force them to, to think in Japanese? Lastly, the conclusion, I got my first burned item on Wanikani, it was a few of the radicals, so nothing too, too exciting, but it feels good. A burned item is effectively, wow, you know this thing so well, you will never forget it again, so why even show it to you? And that's kind of the goal, get everything burned. I figure everything burned in like three years would be cool. Grim Guide chapter is getting started, and I have it on my calendar to like do it every single day for the next week in the mornings. Failed this morning. <laughs> little revelation about waking up is I should have only one thing that I need to get done immediately. I was like, oh, what if I tried again with this JLPT test date? Because I think I did get a little bummed out when I couldn't schedule it for December. November and December were generally rough and that blech carried over to January, which sucked. But we're, we're back. Did I take a three month break? Pretty much. And I hate to say that, but yeah. So having that external goal would be great. The first test is Sunday, July 3rd, but they don't offer it in the US. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to Japan for a week and take it while I'm there. The last thing I wanted to mention is in terms of kind of being painfully aware of how far behind I am, it sucks. But these learning logs aren't to talk about that. I started them as a sense of accountability and keeping track of my progress, what's been working, what hasn't been working. And I think I'll definitely keep including that, of course, but I need to show that. I don't want to just tell that. I mean, I know I just said a bunch of bullet points. You know, maybe I could record when I have realizations. I'll figure it out. I want to focus a lot more on showing and not telling. That's good. You know, I, I, the last month and two months, I've been doing a lot of sort of research into making better videos, and more engaging content. So if you have any, I don't know, suggestions on how you could see the format of these evolving, let me know, because I'm definitely going to keep doing them. They are an accountability thing at the end of the day, but why not make them fun, right? If I can inspire one person to open Duolingo, <laughs> dare I say. that That's cool. That's awesome for me. If any of my friends out there are learning a language, and I use friend pretty broadly, if you want to have a couple minute conversation that I cut down and throw into these learning logs, I forgot that that was one of the things I originally wanted to do with devlogs a while ago. I, I don't know who, which of my friends watched this, but I did a video interviewing a bunch of people ages ago, and that was fun. And I thought maybe this could be a more fun element of learning logs by including more people. I want to be focusing a lot more on showing and not just telling you guys my progress, like the reading thing. So embarrassing. Hopefully it was funny. I'm going to just be cringing while editing and hoping that's not too bad. If I look back in a couple of months and I'm like, wow, that was bad. Then awesome. Started this seven months ago now, and they all would have been the same 
categorization of characters to me. But now I can immediately see what's kanji, immediately see what's hiragana, and almost immediately see what's katakana, which is great. Huge step forward in my opinion. And then playing games makes me realize that, wow, I don't know any grammar. <laughs> and as a linguist, that bumps me out. So enough rambling on that part. That's it for now. Of course, leave any questions, comments, and concerns down below if you're working on a language of your own, Spanish, Korean, whatever it might be. It's weird because now that I don't, you know, I don't have an external deadline all of a sudden, but I'm playing catch up and that just makes me feel like I need to rush, rush, rush. And in a way, that's a good thing. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next month.